Hey, what's happening guys and gals? Welcome to Skylanders Imaginators, the walkthrough here on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, Stealth Elf, let's do this. This time, try to keep up. Don't get too confident, Spyro. I've got a new strategy this time. On your mark. Get set. I guess that means go. <laughs> <laughs> that means go in, uh, in Pop Fizz's language. Nice to see Spyro back in the lead. I know. And Flynn! Easy there. Daddy's got you. <laughs> Come on, Stealth Elf! You can't win if you don't try. Who says I didn't try? <laughs> Ninja vanish! <laughs> I can't believe she beat Spyro. Skylanders just can't have a nice day. I know. Evil's always got to spoil the fun. What's that? I don't know. Bet it doesn't have a library card. Mm. No library card, that's terrible. Tickles. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna have a new stealth elf figure. I know, she's so cool. She's one of the best. Master, I am Eon. Welcome to Skylands. Long ago, the ancients used mind magic to create everything in our world. And somehow, this power has been reawakened. But now, someone is using it to create monsters, the likes of which have never been seen. As a portal monster, you must now use mind magic to create <laughs> heroes of your own to combat these unstoppable foes. And to help train them, I am sending you the greatest Skylander senseis of all time. A great adventure awaits you, portal master. Behold. Ooh. Looks exciting. Spyro. Okay, I've tracked that mysterious book-stealing bad guy to this equally mysterious place. Master Eon said I would find someone here who can help me stop him. A chance, Spyro! <gasps> I'm totally oh, no. invincible! <laughs> <laughs> Strange that we can hear each other from this distance. That's enough to think about it. <laughs> I like Spyro, he's such a... Got a, such yeah. a great sense of humor. Where is this so-called imaginator I'm supposed to meet? Well, we don't have an imaginator right now, but we do have... Somebody else. <laughs> Imaginators are tired from the live stream. Yeah. It's Crush Bandicoot time! So if you guys are wondering why he didn't have like a really flashy intro or anything that happened... Welcome, Skylander! Thanks for coming out to help. Are, are you done, Spyro? He's done for now. Okay, he's done. Okay, so <laughs> this is our official walkthrough. We're going to show you things that will be more streamlined than uh, our blind uh, thing was <laughs> during our live stream. Yeah. So this is like a more concise thing. And uh, we're going to try to make as many short episodes as possible. And see like if we can supposedly... our. Uh, Editor said, oh, the game is 13 hours long. Well, we're gonna smash that into tiny bits. We'll see about that, exactly. We'll try to highlight different characters and show you guys the new characters that are uh, the new imaginators and things. And the senseis. And the senseis, exactly. 
So yeah, um, and Luke's gonna let me play a few from the beginning, but then he might play later on. Yeah, Amber so. didn't get to play the tutorial. I did that during the live stream, so. Yeah, so I'll just do the tutorial and maybe maybe a couple more, and then Luke will probably do the rest. Because I, I love Skylanders because it's actually one of the first games I was able to play through on my own because I wasn't always a big gamer, so... I really, uh, two things got me into Skylanders. The mm -hmm. the fact that it can be pretty much any skill level, you know, even somebody's mom or little sister or brother can play it, <laughs> or cousin, and um, or an Amber can play it. And uh, also the fact, and then you can also move the difficulty up to, you know, uh, other people that yeah. like to play it too. Expert. Give you more of a challenge. Nightmare. Imaginite chess contain mind magic. The can be used to create amazing imaginators. The other thing I love about it. Oh, sorry, Viro's talking. Sorry. Other thing I love about Skylanders is just the, just the creativity, um, and the dragons, and just you know, the fantasy elements. So this is basically the tutorial, if people are wondering. Spyro acts as kind of like your lead instead of Callie and Flynn and even Buzz. Uh, they brought back basically Stealth Elf and Spyro and some of the original Series 1 characters, or Skylanders, not Series 1, Yeah. to uh, kind of act as your mentors slash, you know, people who are going to bug you throughout the entire game, which is actually great. They really add a lot to the game, so... Yeah, I love Callie and Flynn. I really like being bugged by Spyro because he's my favorite, so. Ooh. Ambush. We didn't get this during the live stream. Ambush. Ambush. That guy really likes to branch out. <laughs> yep. And I really love uh, Spyro's personality in this. He re I don't want to say he almost reminds me of Sonic, but it's like he's got that really cool kind of fun attitude, and I really love his personality and well, his voice. A lot of Sonic fans migrated over to the Spyro series <laughs> on the PlayStation for a while. Yeah, he reminds me of kind of very similar personality. Actually, most of the Crash Bandicoot and uh, Spyro fans were Sonic fans at one time. So. Yeah. I was gonna say, sometimes I think Spyro's a little nicer, but also he's got it all together. Also, we will be looking at the <laughs> exclusive um, Crash Bandicoot level uh, mm -hmm. sometime during this playthrough, as well as the Sensei characters, which we did not do. Like, they have actual worlds that you'll need a Sensei in order to open those worlds. But you only need to buy one for each world. It's not as bad as some of the previous Skylanders where you had to literally buy every single character to unlock stuff. This game is a lot more streamlined in that respect. And it's going to be better for your wallet than uh, some of the previous entries in Skylanders. Superchargers, I'm looking at you! Oh, a brawler shrine! <laughs> and Trap Team. Because Giants wasn't too bad. But Yeah, it wasn't. What do we have here? So we're gonna learn a new move here. Oh, that's right. We did do this. This is the um, the yo-yo thing, right? Mm-hmm. So at these little places, Sky Chi power ready. you get Sky Chi. You learn your sensei moves. This is for brawlers. Oh, he's a, See, brawler. he's a brawler. So he's got a fist. So only uh, so if you didn't play his crush on this level, you'd have to put a brawler on there to uh, unlock that move. But we were able to get the um, uh, Crash Bandicoot set thanks to Activision. Yeah, so. thank you very much, Activision, for. Uh, helping us out with everything, actually. Everything that you will see here that are new Skylanders is all brought to you by Activision. They were the ones who sent us an amazing care package, and uh, we'll be doing our best to show off all the characters, like during the walkthrough are series. You this? The live stream, I got kind of stuck just doing Imaginators, so. <laughs> Which, um, I will have to say, that is a great thing about this game, though, too, especially. If you're worried about your wallet, you can create some really Skylander. awesome imaginators for not too much money. To that super ancient place. Super ancient place. Creepy. Super ancient place. Now this is a new puzzle that you guys are gonna see. Who builds a big maze right in the middle of the It is the maze puzzle. Oh yeah, I guess the ancients did. Uh, maybe as a way to confuse solicitors or something? Yes, this totally confuses solicitors. <laughs> I want this in front of my house. No. 
I don't... But if you learned how to get through it, K-Wing, then, um, you know. It was kind of <laughs> funny to fine. watch me do this, like, during the tutorial. I think I made it last a little bit longer than it should have. So. Um, I think because I watched you do it, I was able to know what to do here because it gets a little crazy. They're, they put extra buttons in there to trick you so that you have to flip it more than you think. Yeah, but the goal is just to go to these arrows here, so. I mean, there's Amazing. probably something hidden over there, but. Eh. eh. Sorry. Whoa! Here's an ancient battle gong! Sensei's banging these magical gongs to summon intense fights. I've heard the rewards are sweet, but you have to be a sensei. Ah. So yeah, these gongs appear Money. throughout the levels, and only sensei characters can use them. As Spyro just said. If you dare. I mean, if you're running low on health, it's probably not a good idea to gong them, because then, you, <laughs> yeah. then all these enemies come out. If I ever did that during the live stream, I would be um, <laughs> fine on my own, and she would have like a level 3 sensei, and my imaginator was like a level 15 or 20, and she would decide to ring the gong, I and like we would lose. I like the gong! <laughs> Around the world! Look at that! It's a pretty cool move. Good job, Crash. It doesn't look like he tangled himself up in that either, so that was good. No, it's because he didn't waste all his power, I think. Also, Crash Bandicoot is getting a PS4 game, I believe, this year or next. Cool. So, that's gonna be kind of fun. Legend has it, there's an Imaginite chest at the end of each of these paths. Ooh. Plus, I just read it on one of the signs back there. Well, then <laughs> you would know what's going on there. It's a bouncy puzzle. Yeah, and I'm just loving, loving Spyro's voice in this so much. He sounds so great. I had no idea what the ancients were thinking here, but apparently if you use the bounce pad to hit the floaty ball things, we can move on. Booyah! Good to know there, Crash. Or Spyro, one of you. Yeah. <laughs> New legs. Set part found. Ooh. So the set parts are basically imaginators you can create. Like, they'll give you, mm, like, an entire layout of a character. So you can make, like, a ballerina or a knight or a zombie, werewolf, whatever, and they'll mm. give you all the parts for it. And then you just have to go out and buy these, like, little crystals, which... I don't know how much they are because Activision sent us, like, I, I think like six or seven crystals, but I know yeah. Amber actually wants to go out and get some, just like how I was obsessed with the traps <laughs> during I Trap Team. Make, I want to make as many characters as I, I mean, not tons of them, but I just want to make a variety of them, you know, have a ballerina warrior or something well, like I that. Well, I believe you can, I mean, you can't unchange your class, but you could always rename the character, and you could like, do variations, yeah. things like that. Yep. But once once you make a gem, I don't know if you can erase it. You can just erase the character, and make a new, say you use a gem and you made, like, a brawler type. Then you can only use a brawler character with that crystal. So we made Skeletor, which we're never erasing, who's a magician, and you could experiment with different <laughs> magician things. That's Same with you, man. That's kind of what I was thinking. If you make one that you really like, and I want to make a magician one, and we don't have enough magician uh, ones, then I'll go out and get another one. So we won't have to erase over Skeletor or something. Everybody's saying, like, in the reviews for this, which this Skylanders is getting a lot of press, like, uh, right now, and mostly because of the character creation. Like, that is a big Ooh, deal. Um, it's, it's doing really well. And they also said, you know, you know, they streamlined the experience, there was more um, to that whole dungeon uh, crawler vibe that we haven't seen in a lot of previous Skylanders since Giants, and Trap Team had kind of a decent amount of it, but I'd say that Swap Force is still probably, you know, compared to this one, um, Swap Force was better, but this, this game in all aspects is just... It really surprised me, and that's why we did a nine-hour live stream. Yeah, we could not stop playing this game, actually. We were only going to play, like, a half-an-hour live stream. It's especially powerful in this ancient place. Guess that's because the ancients invented it, huh? But if you can focus that power, you might be able to make a bridge with it. Ooh, mind-focused powers. <laughs> I'm going to do this with my mind right now. Actually, and doing By pretty well. Square. Thank you. So our goal with the walkthrough is to showcase one character each time, and we're playing single player uh, for this because it's just easier to go through it. <laughs> and uh, once we get a better idea of it, maybe we'll do like maybe two we'll player do or multiplayer. I don't something know. We'll else. See. We don't know. 
Maybe we'll go back and do it with the characters once they're leveled up and things like that, showing off the new ones, but... But yeah, I think we could totally do the uh, Sensei Worlds with two players or something like that. But yeah, what we were saying is that we started playing doing a live stream of this um, before, and we were just going to do a one episode live stream, and we just ended up playing the whole game because we had so much fun, so we really do enjoy it. This is the most fun I've had playing Skylanders since the first one, I think, um, because the first one was uh, like that Dungeon Caller vibe, and... Mm -hmm. I also feel like they put so much content into this game, so... It's not 13 gosh. hours, though. I, I disagree Set with... Hard, even wow. if you pace yourself... <laughs> if we, we, um, in our live stream, we spent, like, probably two hours making creative characters. Yeah. yeah. So, that nine hour live stream should really only be about six or seven. However, with all of the extra content that you can do, all the extra things, including, like, the car uh, racing, mm -hmm. And everything like that, you can add on more hours to it. Well, what do you know? It's chaos. Oh, you'd better believe it, stupids. And this time, I've got something up my sleeve that not even you fools can stop. Doomlanders! Here's the book, Master. Awesome. <laughs> and now that I have it, I will use its knowledge to make you even stronger than before, to defeat our uninvited guests. Wait, stronger than before? He's gonna turn him into a Zeo Ranger! Yeah. Go Zeo! Evil at the core! Go Zeo! Oh, that's how Skeletor got that weapon. Yeah. Wait, what? What? Oh, that's his Imaginator. Now I c understand that. You could actually make a Banana Imaginator, too. That's the one... Yeah, so those are the catchphrases. You can make your uh, Imaginator say whatever. And you guys will... We're gonna make some on this. We'll show you guys. I'll make one, because I can do it quick. <laughs> yeah, Luke will make it. I'll make a five-minute one during this walkthrough. You've knocked off a part! Yay! So, parts are basically uh, things you can equip. According to this book, I can use mind magic to give this Doomlander a new secret technique, making them more powerful than before. Think I'll do that? You should do that, Chaos. <laughs> there you go. So, I mean, these parts you can equip to your Imaginator, and I don't know if the Senseis can wear them. Um, I didn't really experiment with that. But, um... We managed to beat the game without equipping parts, so... It's just like added armor and weaponry and stuff like that. The only thing we did was upgrade the weapons to yeah. swap them out. And one thing about this game that you'll find is that it's really geared towards using your Imaginators. Who disrupted Chaos's mind magic? Ooh, yeah. Whoever wrote this book clearly had no idea how stupid and annoying you stupid, annoying Skylanders can be. But maybe this will be enough to deal with your stupidity! <laughs> okay, <Chaos. laughs> us. You said stupid and annoying twice. Hey, us. Can't they? I think we can. I think Crash is uh, getting pretty good at this. <laughs> yeah. You're actually getting good at this, so... I like his slide move, because if an enemy is going to attack you and you're in front of him, you can just slide to the back of him and then attack him there, so I like that. Now, did Crash become our biggest sensei, like, when we played through this previously? I think he did. I think so. Although Aurora is getting pretty strong. Nice! Well done! Yeah, I like Aurora. No matter, though! Now that I have this book, I will learn how to make even more awesomely perfect Doomlanders, which will surely spell doom for you sky losers! D-O-O-M! See? I just spelled it! Chaos, <laughs> I love good. Invader Zim. <laughs> Very good, Chaos. You spelled uh, doom. Classic Chaos. But hey, nice job out there, buddy. Looks like you're pretty good at defeating those Doomlanders, so in my book, that also makes you pretty cool. Speaking of books, let's go meet up with Stealth Elf and see what Chaos is up to next. Next Skylanders game has to have more Skylanders act as, like, kind of the narrator slash whatever, because yeah. it, it really makes people who are like, 
We played the first Skylander game as these characters, and now they're a part of the story. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I have a permanent smile on my face listening to my favorite Skylanders talk, especially Spyro. But I want to be Spyro's friend. <laughs> He's exactly... I mean, that is that the original voice of Spyro? I think it might be. I don't remember. I'm not sure if it is, but it sounds really awesome. No lives lost! Good job! And you did that in about 11 minutes, but Yay. it says, well, I mean, you know, Elgato saying it's 20 uh, something. Well, with all the uh, cutscenes and everything. But there's <laughs> there is something we don't like about this game. So this is called the Mysterious Ancient Place. I'll tell you in a sec. MAP for short, kind of coincidentally. It is indeed a mysterious place with many areas of adventure for you to check out. It's also where those ancients used to live and where all creation was created. How did the ancients even create creation? Exactly. It's mysterious. You know what else is a mystery? What that creep chaos is up to with all that mind magic. We're going to need some help. Skylander, once you're done exploring, let's head back to the academy. Okay, so like I was saying, um, those chests that you collect, you can find them, or you can buy them with actual real money. Using Fire Realm Mom or discovered. Dad's credit card. That's a Sensei yeah, level. Yeah, that's something we probably will <laughs> no. not be doing. No, 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 no. Check it out, Skylander. This Imaginite Vault is a veritable treasure trove of special Imaginite chests that you can't find just laying around. Sound intriguing? It is! Whoa! Looks like a new chest is available in that vault right now! What a coincidence! See, I don't like how he says that you can't find anywhere else, meaning you might not be able to unlock all the parts. You might have to buy them, and that is going to get new bad weapon. real oh, fast. Okay. So oh, that's let's... that's the store, which we don't so... want to go to. Skylander Academy. The Doomlander attack left the library in complete shambles. Oh, and Flynn's trapped too. Think you're up for a little rescue mission, Skylander? If you've never met Flynn before, it's quite an honor. At least according to him. Hmm. <laughs> Stealth help talking about Flynn. But anyway, guys and gals, uh, join us next time as we head into the Skylander library and kick things off with another character. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us how awesome Crash is in the comments below. In fact, smash that like button for the return of Crash Bandicoot. It's been a while. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!